Hey guys, today we're in Puerto Rico. We're out here on the North Shore in Old San Juan at Fort El Muero. We're getting ready to go dive a site that's about a mile, mile and a half east of here known as the Escambron Marine Park. Really neat dive, uh, great for beginners, also a lot to explore for more experienced divers. Uh, there's an area known as Atlantis that's actually just in 10, 12 feet of water with a lot of statues and artificial reefs and some columns to explore. And then, uh, then further out, there's some caverns, uh, really neat rock formations. Uh, so there's tons to tons to check out. So we're, we're going to go do that. So definitely stick with us through the end of the video. And if you like what you should see, make sure to subscribe. Let's go diving. But for the moment, we're going to continue east and see what else we can find. 
All right, we've come up to the area of the caves and the caverns. They're little swim-throughs that are really worth exploring. Here we can duck in there, find some French angelfish, porcupine fish, make for a great habitat for all kinds of stuff. The current's really picked up, so we're going to head around and turn back. But uh, these caves are really, really cool. So we're back out in front of the uh, Hilton Hotel. There's actually a pipe that goes uh, to the area directly in front of the hotel where you can get out and head back up to your room. We're not going to be swimming through there today, but it's really worth checking it out when you've got a, got a good dive master with you. So we found another statue. It's almost like a woman who's uh, also lost her head. Seems to be a trend down here, but yet another great really interesting statue. So we're back in Old San Juan and uh, had a fantastic dive. We're going to head over to Triana for dinner. It's an amazing restaurant with a flamenco dancer, the guitarist uh, Juan Carlos is absolutely fantastic and they've got some killer tapas. So we're going to check that out next, but uh, how, was, how was your dive today, Evan? It was great. The artificial structures are great for attracting reef fish and the natural structures like caves are really cool too. Yeah, so it makes a great habitat for a lot of juvenile reef fish, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I what agree. I got to see a juvenile French angelfish, one of my favorites, and quite a number of other fish swimming around, so it was awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. We got a reef squid in there, and we got uh, some sea turtles as well, didn't we? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Didn't get a manatee this time, but we had a manatee on a previous dive, so we've shared that in the video, but uh, you never know what you're going to find out there, right? Absolutely. Good, yeah. good dive, huh? Great, great training area at the Escambron Marine Park as well, so uh, you know, new divers can find that as a, it's an easy spot to go. Cool. All right. Well, if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Till next time.